Hey guys, welcome to Showstopper Sports. I just got something I gotta get off my chest. Yeah, I know you saw the title of my video. I'm a Chiefs fan. It's baseball season, so right now I'm a big Cardinals fan. I'm originally from Missouri. When I grew up there in the late 80s, early 90s, I think there was a St. Louis Cardinal football team, but I was a Chiefs fan. My dad was since 1990, Derek Thomas. Guys, I've been a huge Chiefs fan. I remember Steve DeBerg, Dave Craig. Uh, I you know I can go I go all the way back and since two and I gotta say I've watched in between a lot of Chiefs games then with the invention of Sunday Ticket and everything I have watched every Chiefs preseason and football game since 2008 bar none and we're talking every play so I've seen Jamal Charles entire career I've seen him blossom from you know the the punt return kick return guy to the top running back but y'all remember some of those games with Larry Johnson Larry Johnson was stumbling getting two and three yards and then Jamal comes in he's getting seven and eight. And, you know, burst one for 30, you know, so, and that was on a horrible team. Besides, you know, it was after Will Shields retired. It was, it was that was the, the worst transitional phase, like from 2007 to 2010, 11. Those were some horrible, horrible years. So that's something that for me, like, I, I've been happy to watch these last few years and see the Chiefs get better and focus, you know, with Alex Smith and Andy Reid. So, okay, so let me get into, let me get to Jamal Charles. I follow him on Instagram. Actually, you've seen his wife's post. I see they have two two girls. As a dad myself, you know, I'm going to do what I can for my family, for my kids. So that's the first thing I'm going to say. Like, I root for people in that respect. And it's going to be hard as heck. He had his best rushing game ever. And I believe it was the last game of the season, like 2011. I'd have to go back to look and give you exact dates. I don't have that kind of memory, guys. Come on now. But where he rushed for like 259 yards. That was his best rushing game. His best overall game was that game against Oakland. I mean, that's like the best game anybody's ever had since like Gale Sayers. But those were receiving touchdowns. Yes, he created a lot of the plays. Um, he could have made any quarterback an awesome QB if they would have had a better team. You know, it's, it's kind of sad. And then he got hurt, you know, right at, you know, in the middle of that season a couple years ago. Then he got hurt in that other one. He, he barely uh, – he got hurt on the first, like, series against Indianapolis in the playoffs. He's had some of the worst luck. I would like for him, Jamal Charles the man, to be successful. He's got, like I said, he's got a family. He's a person. I used to work for um, Verizon, and if I was to get a good offer to go work for DirecTV slash AT&T, well, good grief, I'm going. I'm going to tell you guys that now. There's no way I would stop. The thing is, you're not watching me on TV. You're not coming to my stadium, so there's a huge difference. You didn't buy my jersey, the colors, the red, all that thing. You're not doing the Chiefs chant except to hurt – you know the Broncos you want them to lose it was nice to sweep them last year by the way guys um, so that for me is is the, is the thing that's gonna be the hardest is when he puts on those colors which I hate Auburn too I'm in Alabama I hate Auburn too so those colors for me I never root for those colors there's no team that wears those colors that I root for it's always red so that's my take I support him doing well but I hate the fact he went to Denver he could have went Oakland is the only in San Diego too. If he went to well, uh, Los Angeles Chargers, we'll get and that's another story. He could have went to any other team but those three. And I'm I'm watch. I'm actually gonna root for him. I'm gonna root for that team to win unless they're playing us or it affects our seeding, affects us getting to the playoffs. Besides that, I would have rooted for that team. And say Kansas City either gets out of the playoffs or doesn't make it, and his team was to make it. Any team besides the AFC West teams, I'd be rooting for him just because he was on that team. I'd be rooting for if he went to. I, I'm not a Dallas fan, but I don't hate him. I would root for Philly. I would root for Miami. I would root for Jacksonville. There's so many teams I would root for that he went to. So that's my take. He's the all-time Chiefs leading rusher, and he goes to Denver. It was – when Neil Smith did it, it was like – I understand, I guess I got it because he went to a championship team. Denver is not – with the Denver of a couple years ago. This is a bad Denver team he's going to, which is kind of sad. Although, it, if he stays healthy and has one more good season left, then he makes it better. That's my take on it. And I hope, and I hope, and I hope he does well, but I hope the team still goes 4-12. and 12. So, that's my take on it. Good luck to you, sir. But I'm still sad. And I know the Chiefs moved on. It's not your fault. They released you. I don't know if there was like a contract dispute. I doubt there was. Too good of a guy. So, I root for you, Jamal. Good man. Good father. Keep it up, man. Good luck to you, but go Chiefs. Chiefs Nation. Hashtag Chiefs Nation. Show stops here. Never quit, y'all.